Hey, welcome to the Rob Jesse Show. I'm Rob Jesse, my co-host Ernie Chandler, and we're here with Paul Bunyan's Tree Service, and this is Tim. He's going to give us some tips on how to take care of your trees and what they do special. Tim, tell us a little bit about yourself. I've uh, been in this business for over 40 years. I'm an ISA certified arborist. have been for over 25 years, and we specialize in anything from plant health care to maintenance of trees, removal of trees, planting, you know, any phase of tree care, removal, anything to do with that. So, so being an arborist, how does that set you apart from your competition? Well, we more or less have a code of ethics that we have to go by. Okay. And uh, you know, we, we just uh, you know, specialize in tree care we have from you know, the safety aspects of it to the uh, codes that we have to make sure that all pruning cuts are made correctly. Um, all, all removals are done specifically certain ways, and, you know, the rigging techniques. So what separates you guys from your competition? Uh, some of our competition is trained as good as we are. Oh, good. Yeah. And, you know, some of them, we'd like to, to help them to be, you know, train like we are but uh, we have uh, you know documented safety meetings and we go to training seminars and you know we wear all of our you know personal protective equipment and yeah we just uh, we're trained to identify different pests that invade your plants oh wow yeah, yeah we're trained to apply pesticides and look for different diseases that attack your, your plants. So is that, is that hazardous to your home? Well, if there's any type of weak crotches or um, root structure issues with the trees, there you know, we're pretty much trained to, to identify that so we can point it out and show it to you. Wow. You know, bring that to your attention. And it could be a hazard to your home or your other property. Wow. So I've, I've, I mean, I've drove down the road before and seen trees growing in people's gutters and things like that. Do you guys trim those down too? No. <laughs> we'll, we'll make you aware of it. <laughs> you rehome those trees that are in the gutter. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. what, uh, what, what kind of tips would you give a homeowner this time of year? It's fall. I know that some, some of the trees need to be pruning, you know, pruned and things like that. What tips could you give a homeowner to, to maybe do themselves? And then at what point should they call you instead of trying to do it themselves well just you know stay off of the ladder you know because that's that's a good way to spend the winter in the, in the in hospital, a, in a hospital. <laughs> right y'all would do but, that but uh, uh, just make sure that uh, if you're burning a fire that the, the chimney is clear from limbs and nothing like that but uh, uh, go outside look around look up and look for broken limbs that may have occurred during the summer now that the leaves are coming off of the trees, okay, you can see the limbs better. Okay. And, and if there is an issue, give us a call, and uh, we'll come out and we'll you know, look at certain things. There are some issues on evaluations that we charge, but but they're well worth it. Right. And, uh, but and you know, a lot of stuff is free. But, uh, but either way, it's for your benefit. Right. And so, so limbs hanging over a roof, I've always heard that was that was bad because it allows bugs to get on your roof and in your house. Is that true? Or yes, this is true, and it, it'll also cause excessive moisture. Okay. You know, you want a lot of airflow around your house. Yeah. You know, if you don't have that airflow, it can, you know, it just causes the the leaves to not be able to blow off of your roof. Okay. You know, it shortens the lifespan. Okay. Good deal. Yeah, I had a problem with a raccoon climbing on my house from a tree and hanging under it, so we had to get that cut out. So yeah. you, you hear of that too? Where they, yeah, we get a lot of complaints about the squirrels jumping from the limbs onto the house. So. Yeah, that's yeah. annoying. Yeah. yeah, My son would be terrified to know that. My yeah. oldest son is terrified <laughs> of squirrels, and when he was five, we had to open the house door and then open the car door, and he would run from the house to the car because he was afraid a squirrel squirrels. would get him. Uh, what phobia <laughs> that is? I have no idea. <laughs> so, how do people get in touch with you? Uh, we're, you know, you can go contact us via online or uh, we're in the book. 
Okay. Yeah. So was it uh, pbunion.com or what? Yeah, it's pbunion.com. Tim at pbunion.com. Um, but, uh, yeah. And your phone number is 890-6650-345-5902. Okay. okay. Great. Awesome. Well, thank you. We appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Thanks Tim. for having us. Yeah, man. Appreciate it.